Hello, as most of you are aware, the energy prices have gone up by 400% in many places around the world. Here are a few tips to help you keep your bills down. We start with the tips that won't cost you anything before moving on to the measures that will cost you some money, but it will pay back quickly. Tip number one is to conserve energy. This is the most crucial step before you look into other options. Stop energy leakage by plugging the energy drains. Remove the appliances from standby. Use more of your microwave. Close the curtains at night, unplug all the chargers and switch to LED lights. Do full laundry loads and only fill the kettle with the amount of water that you need. Tip number two is to get loft insulation. Studies have shown that 25% of the heat is lost through the roof. The loft insulation can help reduce the heat loss and keep your home warm for longer. If you cannot get loft insulation, then use your old clothes instead. They aren't as efficient, but will help to prevent heat loss nonetheless. Tip number four is to do draft protection. Up to 5% of the heat can be lost from draft. There are self-adhesive draft proofing strips and tape rolls available for as low as $8 a set. These need to be applied along the doors and window edges. Draft proof letter slots are also available. Tip number five is upping your glazing. Home with single glazed windows can lose more than 10% heat from the window surface area alone. Furthermore, it also leads to condensation. Fortunately, there are plastic glazing films available for as low as $10 that you can apply to your window frame and shrink wrap them for a firm attachment. This forms a barrier between the inside air and the window pane. This is a very effective solution for preventing heat loss. Tip number six, lower your thermostat. It's always tempting to heat your house to a higher comfort level, which allows you to wear just a t-shirt inside the house in the middle of winter, but this can severely impact your heating bills. It's better to wear an extra layer of clothing. Thermostat set at 18 degrees centigrade will keep the bills in check. Tip number seven is to get an air to air heat exchanger. This allows for ventilation without losing the heat. The incoming air from outside will exchange the heat with the outgoing indoor air. The air to air heat exchanger units are available online for as low as $200. Alternatively, you can make your own. Videos are now present on YouTube to get them made for as low as $77. Tip number eight is about using rugs and carpets. Carpeted floors can retain heat. You can get rugs to keep the floor warm and prevent heat loss from under your feet. The thicker the rug, the more heat it will retain. Tip number nine is to build a solar air heater. A simple solar air heater can be made for less than $10. I have a detailed step-by-step -step video on making one. Link is in the description. All you need is a few empty tin cans of soft drink, cardboard box, some black paint, plastic sheet, bin bag, and some tape and glue. Most of the stuff you will already find in your home. You can also find solar air heaters on eBay for as low as $25 that come with active circulation system. Tip number 10 is to get an air source heat pump. This is beneficial if electricity is the only source of your heating energy or if the gas prices in your region are the same as electricity prices. The cheaper option for an air source heat pump will cost about $500. In places where you are getting a gas unit for half the price of electricity unit, this option shouldn't be used. Tip number 11 is about using evacuated tube solar collectors. Heating makes up more than half of the domestic energy usage, particularly in cold climate countries. Solar evacuated tube collectors are very efficient and convert more than 85% of the solar radiation falling on the surface as heat. The prices have dropped substantially and they can be purchased for under $500. Connecting the solar water heater into home plumbing lines can be costly. However, if you have an external circuit with a separate water storage tank, the water from which can be brought into the home, then this system will be cheap and would be able to pay itself back in just over a season. We hope this video will help you become more efficient with your energy usage and will save you some money in the long run. As the energy prices have soared, nearly everyone is feeling the pinch. 
do let us know of any additional tips that can be beneficial for our viewers. And with this, the video is concluded. Thank you for your attention.